subject of cooling towers we've got the old Lenox air conditioner running without the compressor hooked up. The compressor's supposed to be burnt out and since I don't have enough supply current to even test it, I'm just going to end up ripping the compressor out and hooking the coil up to the cooling system on my electrolysis machine. This will be a self-contained fan cooled electrolyte cooler with the electrolyte actually passing through the condensing coil rather than being refrigerated by anything it will just be an air cooled system all the switch gear will remain the same it's just the compressor start capacitor and whatnot will disappear and that's about it I'll actually install the water pump in place of the compressor unit with the compressor hooked up. It's hooked up to a 20 amp outlet but if the compressor is as bad as they say it is, uh, expect all the lights to go out and the circuit breaker to go off basically. Let's give it a shot. Fans running. The control module must be preventing startup of the compressor because it's not trying to trip out. I'm guessing this control module is the uh, protection for the compressor. Since there may be a fault then it's not going to let me try and start it up or see if it'll kick over partially. Well, I managed to find my really old multimeter in one of my boxes of junk. I uh, don't even have proper leads for it, I'm just using bits of cable. Uh, it's been in storage for a long time, I don't even know if it works properly, but I can generally tell if something's short or out of whack with it. I'm not getting any shorts to ground with this compressor. Uh, basically it wasn't running before because these little Danfoss pressure switches we're sending false signals because there's no gas in the system. It's actually been completely isolated and evacuated. I'll probably get the tape off these things before I start it up, but let's just see how many circuit breakers I can trip tonight. Oh damn, five. Doing something. Better take that tape off. That's just air bleeding out of the condensing coils from when I fired it up before. This thing actually has a fair amount of power. I haven't tripped any circuit breakers yet either. I guess once it's got refrigerant in it, it'll start drawing more current. one really powerful air conditioner. I don't think I'll end up turning this one into a pump after all. I might actually try and clean it out and hook it up with its original evaporator coil and turn it into a cooler. Maybe even sell it as a whole unit. Just got to evacuate the compressor and make sure there's no extra moisture or anything in there. Blow it out with nitrogen. 
I've had this thing idling for about 25 minutes now with the compressor unplugged just to see if anything was going to act up in the control circuit and basically what's happened is it's overheated its condensing fan motor it's physically too hot to touch it says it's thermally protected which is why it shut, shut itself down not sure if it's related but there's basically a cup full of water sitting in this bottom housing as well the seal around here is obviously gone it may well be that it's shorting a couple of windings out and creating a bit of overcurrent through the windings either way I'll pull it apart and see what's going on this may well be the reason why they scrapped this unit because there's nothing else wrong with it the pressure tested it, there's no leaks the evaporative coil is just as good this may well be a good cooler to replace that one over there either that or I'll sell it well this old air conditioner sort of got me on a bit of a roll now I've got the uh, end cover of the motor off and sure enough the run capacitor was just swimming in there uh, the water obviously created a short and eliminated it from the circuit these terminals were also sitting in there I'm surprised it didn't actually trigger the earth leakage breaker or anything the motor housing is earth but nothing else so I'm guessing because the water didn't get to the housing it didn't trigger the short circuit or earth leakage breaker uh, basically all I've got to do is pull all these apart and dry them out uh, make sure the capacitor is ok dry it out this is where the failure occurred, the gasket was not properly seated when they put the cover on and water's just gotten straight in with a bit of luck the motor will be alright although I'm not sure if any water got in there when I turned the whole thing over I'll probably end up taking this end cover off and just make sure the insides of the motor are alright basically there's not much in here just your condensing coil I'll get the wet dry back out, suck all those leaves and crap up give the coils a good clean I've got provisions on my main power board for another 25 amp circuit so I could plug this one into that and basically just put a ducted air conditioning system through either the house or the workshop well, the motor looks like it's in pretty good nick there's no sign of water getting in or anything the windings look good it does have a little thermal switch in there which is what saved it earlier uh, basically I'm just going to try and find a replacement for this capacitor I believe the old, this one was flooded with water before so I'm guessing the electrolyte's been washed out of it and it's just stuffed probably why it was getting so hot run capacitor was non-existent I actually have a 5 microfarad run capacitor in stock but I believe it's critical that these capacitors are the right type and this one's 4.5 microfarad uh, maybe somebody can fill me in and tell me whether or not a 5 microfarad would be ok in place of a 4.5 or whether I really have to get a 4.5 for it I'm going to try and run it as it is but I'll be monitoring the temperature very closely I've just got the fan sitting on top of the unit at the moment blowing downward just see if this motor starts to heat up too much the whole thing's cleaned up, sealed, dry the only thing I'm not sure about is that run capacitor may require replacement. I'm trying to run the compressor but I've got the compressor unplugged so it doesn't suck too much air through and damage itself. Contaminate with too much moisture and other crap. You've got to try and keep these things as clean as possible if you're going to use them as air conditioners. So my final diagnosis for this thing was maybe the uh, condensing fan motor was triggering the circuit breaker and the technicians just assumed that it was bad compressor triggering the circuit breaker but in fact it was just a lot of moisture inside the uh, housing or the fan was simply dying part way through the cycle and they just decided to sell a new air conditioner instead of repair it uh, given the repairs that I've done this thing should last for quite a while definitely have to fit a uh, filter dryer to the compressor as well this one doesn't appear to have any kind of filter dryer on the compressor unit or the uh, evaporative coil 